In this chapter, we're going to start getting into really adding AJAX code to improve your static HTML web pages. And here's an example of a static HTML web page. It might look at first glance like it's fairly useful, but when you really read what it says, you'll see that you know that there's four articles about JavaScript, but you have no idea what each one of those pages contains. And if you remember at one point that you read something good here, you'll come back and not know which link to click. There's a simple answer to that, and the answer is AJAX. What we want to do is add enough AJAX code to this page so that people coming to it can tell at a glance what they'll get when they click on the link. Another goal is to make it so that as we add more articles, we don't have to go in and add more code. We don't want any article-specific code in here. We want to make it as generic as possible because that way it's a whole lot less upkeep and it's more likely to actually be useful. And the third goal is to make it so that as people come to the page who for one reason or another do not have JavaScript, they don't have a problem finding the content. They'll still be able to see everything, get to everything. It'll just be a matter of if you do have JavaScript and a current browser, you'll get more functionality. You're not actually going to hurt people with other browsers. So what is it we're going to do? Let's take a look. As we scroll over a link, we see a little pop-up. This pop-up contains a mini preview of the actual content of the web page itself. And as we go over each of the other links, you'll see that it changes. And it's just the beginning of each of the web pages that we would see as we clicked on them. So how do we do this? Let's take a look in further lessons.